Our drone flies over Mexico City's most densely populated and poor borough located in the southeastern part of the capital. Until recently, Iztapalapa, home to 1.8 million people, has been known for its crime and poverty. But that's starting to change with the help of an ongoing two-year-old public art project that brings touches of color in the form of large murals. From up here on the cement rooftops, you get a sense of just how densely packed and gray this southeastern part of Mexico City has been, and it's been that way for decades. This project aims to transform that. Ángeles López, also known as Ariane, is one of 35 artists paid to create the murals. It's a project of the local city government, which also recently installed this cable transport system that allows residents to travel high above this part of the city. Ariane and city officials say now more than 9,000 murals decorate many rooftops and walls of this once notorious neighborhood. She considers this vast urban space her giant concrete canvas. It's freedom of expression, but instead of a canvas, we use the walls and rooftops. We are no longer limited to easels. Now we are painting on parts of the urban space and it's our canvas for creativity. The murals project is one of many efforts by the Iztapalapa city government designed to improve public spaces. Iztapalapa's mayor, Clara Brugada, takes us to see this beautiful large mural located in one of the poorest parts of the capital. She's been working here since the mid-1980s to improve services and public spaces for citizens, especially women. La población decide the residents decide what they want embodied in art. They ask for flowers, nature, animals, or the history of their neighborhood. They ask for images of relevant community members or well-known artists. Paint and salaries are paid for by the local government with public funds. Local residents say these once drab walls have taken on new life and that's improving their sense of well-being in a place once considered anything but friendly. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.